I'm Chris Anderson, and I'm a product manager uh, for Orc, Orc Software. Um, for those who don't know what we do, we build trading software. That's what we do. And today I'd like to talk about a, a vision and a process that we use when designing our software. And this is something we call building for change. So what is that? Well, we believe, like uh, Heraclitus, that the only constant is change, and that the financial markets change, fundamentally and frequently. And when they do, we know we need to follow suit, not next year, not next month, but now. And this is a, a huge problem because change can come from anywhere. It can be new regulation, new markets, new participants, et cetera, et cetera. So really, building for change is about knowing what you don't know. So knowing that change will come, but we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what that's going to be. So we need to design this agility into the very fabric of our products. So how do we do that? It is the Batmobile. Well, this has to be thought about at the very architecture of the system, in the blueprint, because it's very difficult or costly or sometimes impossible to change a system later if you haven't built it with this level of adaptability in mind. So it needs to be done at this stage in the architecture. Crucially, building for change is not just about us. It's not just about the vendor. It's also about our client. It's about empowering our clients and letting them change the system as well and going at their own pace in their own direction, independent of the vendor. OK, so building for change. Uh, I'd like to go through a, an example now of, of where we've done this in one of our latest trading products, Orc T-Bricks, and how we've built for change here. So what we've done in Orc T-Bricks is we've, we've split the architecture. So we have a core platform, and then we have individual apps that you can load on to the T-Bricks platform, just like a smartphone. So how does that solve the problem? How does that enable change? How does that make it easier to change? Well, all of these apps are, first of all, completely independent of each other. They're also independent of the core platform. So if we need to change the, the Black Shoals pricing model or add a new parameter to our spreader, we just have to change that one app. That's the only thing that changes. There's less risk in doing that, quicker time to market. We don't need to change the core platform. So I know what you're thinking. Um, there's perhaps nothing novel in this approach. Other solutions provide such flexibility. You can add your own pricing models, your own trading strategies, etc. But where we're trying to take this idea, this building for change idea, is a little bit further, I would say. And I'd like to go through three ways in which we've, we've taken it further in the latest generation of Orc products. So number one is what these apps actually do and what they provide. So rather than just being the pricing models and the, the trading strategies, we've tried to put as much as possible into this flexible, changeable app layer. So it is things like the volatility manager, spread pricing, expiration handling, pre-trade risk limits, integration via fix. All of this is in the open, flexible app layer. So we put as much as possible as we can there. So we can change it easily, and our clients, importantly, can change it as well. So that's the first thing. Number two, I mentioned that building for change is also about empowering the clients. It's not just about us. So it stands to reason they'll want to be able to change the apps that we provide as well. And the only way we can really facilitate that is by providing the full source code to all of these apps uh, to our clients. And we have uh, about 150 apps now. It covers a lot of IP in our pricing. We have quantitative teams developing that stuff. But it's the only way. Giving the source code to our clients is the only way we can enable this, this building for change. And the final thing, uh, clients may well want to take one of our apps. They might want to add some IP but they may also want to get the, the latest and greatest changes coming in from Orc as we develop them. How do they manage that? 
Well, again, we've done the, the only thing we could do and we've opened up our source control. So all of our clients get read-only access to our Git repository. They can see our version history. They can see our commit messages. And it's also a fantastic delivery mechanism. As soon as we make a fix, as soon as we commit that, our clients can pull it in straight away. So am I saying that uh, as long as you get the architecture right at the beginning, then life's a beach, and you can easily change your software with minimal uh, headaches, minimal cost, etc. Well, not really, because the only constant is change. There will always be new drivers, perhaps new things that don't quite fit the model, um, ever more demanding clients that will push your, your API. But that's OK, because we like that. It drives the product. It keeps us forward focused. Uh, and importantly, helps elevate this idea of building for change even further and further. Uh, with the latest generation of old products. Thanks very much. <laughs>